Hey everybody, it's Carrie, your friendly neighborhood teen librarian from the Rapid City Public Library. And if you are watching this video, then that means that you selected History of Magic for your Trash Panda treasure box this time. Let's take a look, see what you've got in your boxes and how to put it all together. Okay, so we're gonna start out with your quill pen. You should have the feather, the ink, and a little bit of washi tape. Um, and what we're looking for is for the tip of that feather to be wide enough so that the pen will all slide pretty easily inside. Um, so you may have to cut it back a little bit if the tip is too narrow. And then once you've got it about the right size, it should slide in pretty easily. Um, depending on the feather, it might go back a lot further than that, but it might not. And then for the washi tape, um, you want to make sure that you've got a clean start. So mine obviously did not there. I'm going to tear it off and start, start again. Um, when we put it on there, we're going to put it against the feather at a little bit of an angle. Um, so I'm going to line it up and then I'm going to tilt it just a little bit. And the reason for that is I don't just want the tape to stay right where the feather and the pen come together. I want to be able to wrap it and have it go at a downward angle um, so that it will reinforce itself and, and kind of hold for longer. Um, when we get to the end of where the washi tape is, we may also have to go into the glue, which technically is for your scroll case, but it wouldn't take very much of it just to hold that washi tape in place. So I'm going to keep angling it down, angling it down. Um, and then when I get it about where I want it to be, I'll go ahead and tear it off. And then I'll just add probably a little bit of glue right under there and let it dry just because it will hold a little bit stronger. Um, you should have enough to make a couple of these. So we'll move on to the scroll case. So lay out that tissue paper and then um, what we're going to do is we're basically going to cover this whole entire thing with glue. So pay attention to where the two holes are because you're going to want those later and even though your tissue paper is going to go over them just keep in mind where they're at so that you can poke through the tissue paper. And I'm going to go um, the the wide way. Um, and not even kidding, we are going to cover um, this whole thing with glue. But the easiest way to start is to just do one solid line. And then you can stick that to the tissue paper. And then you can, it's easier to roll from there. So I'm just going to dab this on. I'm going to position it pretty close to the top of that um, and just kind of you don't want it to be nice and neat you actually want all of these wrinkles in there because these wrinkles are what's going to make it look almost like it's leather covered when you're finished so nothing neat nothing smooth we want it to be kind of messy and abstract
And now that we have this lovely sort of golden burrito, we are going to do the same thing all over again. So we'll grab that next sheet of tissue paper and we'll, you can see some of the glue is kind of coming there already, so that'll do part of your work for you. I want to make sure that I, I keep where those holes are. Um, I'm gonna need those later. Okay, so here we go again. And then I'm going to take this final bit and make sure that I get a pretty even coat of, of Mod, Pod, Mod Podge, excuse me, on there um, to make sure that none of the edges are going to get caught on anything. Um, so make sure that that's pretty well coated and stick that last little bit down and smooth it out a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and cover it on the outside too, just to get an extra seal. And then I'm going to tuck in the edges all around and I'll glue those down as well. And this is where those holes are going to come back in. So I've kind of taken a pen and made sure to get all the tissue paper out of the way so that I've got nice sized holes in there that I'm going to be able to pass this cord through. And basically the thinking is that it's kind of like a backpack, but it's only for scrolls. Um, you can wear it over your shoulder like a messenger bag. So if you take the cord through and kind of do a double knot with it, and then it's kind of up to you to measure if you want it to fit tighter like a purse or looser like a messenger bag, figure out how long you want your cord to be and then you can tie a double knot on that other end as well. And then you will have your scroll case. And you can just trim off those extra ends. Thank you for following along. I hope everything went all right for you. Hopefully I will see you back next month in February for a brand new Trash Panda Treasure subscription box game themes. Bye guys.